Good morning. This is Sela. We're taking a ride on the Sulky this morning. It's Friday morning, July 30th. July 30th today. So we're going to go for a little ride on her Sulky. There's the Sulky. There's my good girl. All right, here we go. Pull in. Let's go, let's go. Go ahead, go ahead, come on. All right, let's drop. No. That's a good girl. Here we go. Here we go. Not too quick sometimes to respond, but she does. In the end, we keep a pretty good pace, right around five miles an hour, between five and six miles an hour. It is somewhere around a nine minute mile pace. Pull on, pull on. She'll stop from time to time if she sees something she wants. Nope, nope, nope. Pull on. Like that. Pull on. I think she wants the smell of smell. And if we're doing a workout, I don't let her usually. If we're out for a walk, she can smell as much as she wants. No! No! Pull on! A little humid out today. So we we're out early. She will take voice commands for right or left and walk and trot. Walk, 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 walk. No. I changed the commands you heard. <laughs> and she'll take a trot. Trot! Good girl. And the reins are for extra emphasis. But normally it's this voice. Pull on. I know there are nautical terms. Whoa. Walk. Good girl. Pull on. Left. Good. We got to avoid vehicles. Give them the right of way. There we go. Looks like we have a puppy out <laughs> coming and fetching the, the paper. <laughs> he likes that, so she picks up the pace. He brought it up to about 10 miles an hour. And just because she was excited to see another dog. Good morning! And she'll drop it back down now that the excitement's over. Stay right. Pull on. Keep it up. <laughs> Keep it up. Let's go. The system works like a seesaw. You have the fulcrum and you have weight. And the fulcrum, when somebody sits in the seat of the sulky, pulls up on the harness so there's never any weight on the canine's back. Pretty neat system. You can't put any weight on a dog's back. So the stress is in the shoulders and around the rib cage. <clears throat> we have a couple of pups here that like to welcome us as we go by. Pull on. 
and lots of little chickens. it up. Let's go. We normally do a two mile loop. We can do a three mile or a four mile and I've done that all the way up to six miles. Pull on. But now that she's getting older we don't need to do any more than just to maintain shape. Another couple of dogs. Mm. Working out their pecking order. I think it's worked out, it's just being maintained. That's a good girl, keep it up. Come on. You're slowing down, let's pick it up. Pick it up. Good girl. Sometimes she'll get lazy and will drop below five miles an hour. I try not to let that happen too long. Some turkeys. I don't know if you can see the turkeys. Let's go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Good girl. Here we go. Keep it up. Here we go. You can see she likes to look around. So this is not only her exercise, but she gets to see what's there, the sights to see in the morning when we go. Try to keep her focused on the trot. Keep it up. Want her to see the sights, but want to get from point A to point B. And get the cardiovascular done. And it's her job. Canines need a job, a job to do. And this is her job. Well, we do this about six times a week. Take Sundays off. And there's other times when the weather's not right, or I'm not feeling well, or she's not feeling well, or something where we miss a day or two. But normally speaking, we do about six miles a day. I don't think you can see the right there is the speedometer and the speedometer says 1738 miles for today and there's a pretty kitty cat up ahead let's see if she'll see that kitty cat let's go oh she sees one right here a oh, little tiny kitty obviously had a litter here not too long ago a little bit of them. <laughs> Hiding behind that rock. Let's see if we can see that kitty there. There she is. Hiding behind the rock. Come on, pull it up. Let's go. This is a good pace, but not real stressful, it's not too much really stress on this. It, it creates a little bit of a drag when we get off the blacktop, but uh, here she'll want to turn left and I don't want her to turn left, so we'll pull on. That's a good girl. She thinks she cuts off some of the mileage if she takes a shortcut.
keep it up. Here we go. It's overcast this morning. About 85 out at six o'clock in the morning and muggy. I guess we are in a long monsoon season for Arizona. It doesn't usually last this long. It's been kind of interesting summer. We've been almost 10 degrees cooler on an average than normal. We've only had one or two days that got up to our average of 115. Normal average of 115. We're, we're probably somewhere between 15 and 110. Now, we have several days on a normal basis up above 120 and have, not according to the weather service, but according to the local thermometers, a, a day or two a year over 130. So we're quite a bit cooler. Uh, must be global warming. Over here to the left is usually a little puppy that comes out and greets us when we go by, but she's not out today. Good morning. Keep it up, good girl. Keep it up, good girl. The cameraman's not focusing on their job. I'm not sure where been watching or not. You can see she does pretty good, so a pretty good pace. Not real stressful. Stay left. Good girl. Stay left. Keep it up. Keep it up. She likes to see who's in the car as they go by. No commands needed for that turn. It's pretty regular. She knows where she's going. They left. Hold on. Hold on. We got a washboard. dirt road here. And they smooth it out a couple times a year. I don't know if you can pick it up on the video or not. This homeowner for whatever reason keeps the road nice and watered. And they're watering their grass, so obviously the, the sprinklers get turned around probably too far. Keep it up. The gentleman on the left likes to come out and talk. Take about 15, 20 extra minutes. No, she likes that because she could sit and talk for a while. Hold on, let's go. Keep it up.
That's my good girl. Yeah. Five point seven miles an hour. So she's doing pretty good, keeping up the pace. And building a house over on the right of us over here. You can probably see it in the video. They workmen like to wave at us as we go by in the morning. We watch them dig out the foundation and then pour it and then put up the two by sixes. Now they got the paneling up. Well, we completed the first mile, a little bit more probably. Uh, we're heading down the home stretch. They say, I don't know, but they say that you only need a 50 pound dog to pull a 200 pound man on one of these sulkies. Made by Regal. Sulkies out of Australia. Jim retired, so I'm not sure who has picked up the business uh, go online and it's no longer working so he said he was gonna have somebody continue to, to make them Regal was sulky manufacturer for harness racing and uh, started a sub line for canines we picked one of them up and saw it online and ended up when she was a pup decided to go ahead and try it out. Dog carting. We've been doing it these five years. Four or five. Who remembers exactly? She was about a year old when we got started and it took about three months. It took my time, about three months training before she was pulling the sulky. She's very uh, timid and she did not like the sulky so close to her rear. And I started by having her pull me on a bicycle. So she would pull me the, the two miles on the bicycle and then we went into the sulky training once we discovered that. And the biggest hurdle was having the two wheels of the sulky so close to her tail. She was a little intimidated by that. And took a little patience. Name of Training is patience, not accepting no, but having patience when she says no. Biggest frustration for the trainer is when you know that they know what to do and they just plain refuse to do it. Getting them to want to. <laughs> Going from the proverbial have to to the desired want to.
she looks forward to the exercise in the morning. Being a Great Dane, she can sleep 20 hours a day. No problem. But at some point in that day, they need to be able to go out and dissipate some of that built up energy that she gets. Otherwise, they start looking for something to do in the house. And you don't want a Great Dane looking for activities inside the house. Well, you need to get out and give them their exercise. We do this in the morning and then we do our walk at night. And that seems sufficient for her. And obviously the, the potty breaks during the during the day. We've looked at several doggy doors but haven't made a decision on what to do yet with the doggy door situation. So we do it manually. Hold on. Let's go. We got a car coming up on the right. We get past the intersection. So we don't have to stop. Such a good girl. She'll look over to her left when this guy goes by. Stay on, pull on, pull on, let's go. Problem is that that pulls her body to the left into the path of the vehicle. Which is something that the driver needs to be aware of. She likes people and she likes to stop and talk for a while. And get petted and have people tell her how beautiful she is. Kind of a rural area we're in. A uh, minimum of a one acre plot, so they go up to several acres. But I think this area is a minimum of one acre. So we're coming along here if we have a clear road. We'll see if I can get her to do a circle. She'll follow directions and do a loop for me. Left, left, pull, pull on, let's go, pull on, left, pull on, good girl, keep it up, all right, try, let's go, good girl, ha <laughs> we can do figure eights and stuff like that. Rise up to about 25 minutes now. So it's not really fast, but I'm not really interested in the fast, just a good physical exercise for her.
Notice most of the time I just give her a head because she knows where she's going. Some days I'll just let her go where she wants as long as we get our two miles in. And she'll go search out a new, new path. Made a left turn all by herself and a home stretch here. Another hundred yards or so. Well, there's some blue skies. Little spot with some blue skies up there. A new resident, a little puppy. Saying good morning. There we go. Here we go. Now we're coming up to the front of the house and she's going to walk up into the place where I'll take her. Harness off. Good girl!